and welcome back to my channel, Phonics Creation. Hello guys! Okay, so today's video is slightly different because today I'm gonna make... No, no, wait, Scissor! Let me guess! It is a musical instrument? Yeah, you're right! It's a musical instrument, but you know where is it from? It's from South Africa! What? Really? Yeah! Okay, so tell me their names! Okay, so it's Jimby and Tarbuka! Oh! Are you pronouncing it correct? <laughs> I think so! But if I'm not, I'm really sorry about it! It's a wild and I don't know how to pronounce it, of course! So now what? Should we start? Yeah, absolutely. So, without further ado, let's get on into the video. Let's go. So for this you'll need cardboard, beans, thick thread, glitter, card paper. So let's get started with gem instruments first. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken these cardboards over here. And also these circles so one is thick and the other one is thin as you can see and now I'll just start first I'll start with this circle and I'll apply this cardboard over here on the corners and after doing that I'll take the scissors and I'll just cut this part off And now I'll just use my fingers to fold these inside and also I'll just stick it with hot glue gun. Okay so once that is done as you can see this is how it looks right now. Now this is another piece of cardboard which I'll be folding into a cylindrical shape. So this is done. Now I'll be sticking these two parts together. And after that I'll take this tiny piece of circle and I'll just stick it on the bottom. And now I'll just stick this white card paper over here on the top as well. After that I'll just take my paper clay and I'll start giving the perfect shape which I want for these instruments. And now for the bottom part also and you know how easy it is to get any shape you want for anything so over here paper clay is very useful and once that is done as you can see for the bottom part I'm giving this shape so this is how it looks right now after it gets dried I'll just start with the other one too and now I'll just take this circle and I'll stick this cardboard over here And then I'll just take another circle. Then I'll be rolling this again into a cylindrical shape. So once this is done, as you can see, I'll just stick it over here. And this circle on top. And once that is done, I'll again close the bottom with the tiny circle. And the other one as well which is slightly bigger than that and now I'll just take aluminum foil and then I'll just start sticking it to give the perfect desired shape you can also give it by paper clay but this will be more helpful for this one you can also use newspaper instead so you just have to twist it and fold it around the necks over here And once you get the perfect piece, then you'll start applying the paper clay. Now 
now for the bottom part as well. So this is the exact shape which you have to have for this instrument and after the first instrument gets dried as you can see, it's hardened now. Now let's start painting the ember first and for that I'll be using this dark brown shade and I'm using fabric paint over here. You can also use any other paint if you want. For the top now I'll just use this icy white color and over here also. So now that is done now I'll just take this thread white thread and I'll be sticking it over here on the corners for the top part and once that is done I'll take this black thread which is slightly thinner than the white one and I'll be sticking these on the zigzag side as you can see this will how the design be over here. So first you have to make this exact halfway through and then you have to cover it the next half afterwards. So this is the half zigzag design which I have got right now and now I will just start with the other half as well. Okay so once the design is complete as you can see it's looking something like this and now I'll be start sticking this thread over here also on the bottom like this. And once that is done now I'll just take these black shiny gems and I'll be attaching them on the point of over here this design. And also in the middle so as you can see the gems are now stuck properly and it's something looking like this now let's start completing the darbuka instrument which I've already made so this is also hardened enough now as you can see I have applied paper clay on the areas which I wanted it to be and now I'll take this silver cut paper stripe and I'll be covering it over here halfway through and then I'll take this glitter foam sheets and I'll be attaching them on the top part so that it gives me a perfect 3D look and also for the base part also for the second side and now I'll just paint the top half with white color and now I'll take this triangle and I'll be folding it into a thin coiling and once that is done as you can see I have made 3 of them now I'll just take accordingly I'll just measure take the measurements and then cut this part off so likewise I'll be making 5 of them so once that is done now I'll just take this wire and I'll be folding it like this so you can also take this help and then remove the wire and stick it. So this is the silver card paper and now it's thick so I'll just cut these tiny the ring aside and as you can see this is the kind of ring I get. So I'll be making 10 like this for the 5 wires and I'll be sticking on each of the sides. So this is how I made the 5 others as well. Now I'll take this silver card paper and I'll be sticking it on the 
foam sheet with that attached so that it can give the perfect 3D look as I said that earlier too. And now over here also for the second foam sheet. So once that is done now I'll be sticking these 5 things on the instrument. So now this is how it looks right now. Now we'll start painting the base also. So I'll be painting it with grey fabric paint. And once it's painted as you can see it's not so shiny so I'll just take glitter over here and then I'll just apply some glue over that and then I'll just start painting this part so it will be a DIY glitter paint and you'll just paint this bottom part as well. So it will give you the perfect shiny and steel look which you are looking forward to. So this is how it looks right now it's completed and this is how these two instruments look right now. So it was really beautiful making these two and thank you so much for suggesting me this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video you will be notified. So here you will see me playing this. All set, bye bye. Hey guys, so before ending this video here, I would like to say that if you love me and my work, then please make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to become a part of my Phoenix army. And also, if you want to connect with me, then follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and also make sure to follow me on my Facebook. So this way, I can connect with you all on all the social medias and different platforms. And guys, if you all want, you can comment down below anything that you want to see next in my videos and I'll try to make all of them really soon. Till next time, bye bye!